Hey guys, so it's Debbie and Willow here today and we are going to show you a new kit we got hand, made by Hand to Mind. Mind. Thank you, I almost forgot. Thank hand to Mind. This is the Boom Combustion Science Lab. And this is STEM at play. So I am a big supporter of all things STEM. I think it's great for kids. I love STEM. Especially for girls, only because so often girls are not pushed into those careers and areas. So I love finding kits like this that make it fun and keep all kids interested. So this kit has, I know you have. This kit has 25 experiments 24 lab tools and a 36 page career and lab guide and i just make the cut too because it's eight and plus and i'm nine yes so <laughs> so i just make it let's see and this kid is called boom so he, um, he's blowing stuff up yes i love blowing stuff up <laughs> i don't think i don't think there's anyone out there that doesn't like blowing things up i should have cut the tape especially first. in minecraft oh yeah yeah you yeah. love minecraft huh Let's see. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Kaboom! Safety goggles. Yes. Whenever I you're think working, these don't fit me. they're they're adjustable. <laughs> okay, so when you first open the kit, Make sure you have is your, your safety. is your kaboom, and then Boom. there's some lab equipment. There are different things that we need for the experiments. We've got stickers. <laughs> and then here oh wait these aren't stickers no we probably need them for something and then this is the boom book so we have 25 hands-on stem experiments so you always want to make sure you have an adult when you do these because just in case something gets out of control we'll, we'll tighten them in a second I got them um and it has, Beef. it says, so there's a whole bunch of information here for the supervising adult. And then it says, dear future scientist, welcome to the world of scientific discovery. And careers in combustion science can be a pyrotechnician. Do you know what that is? Pyro? That's what pyro means. And do you know what a technician means? No. Technology? It's like the person who would do it. Ah. So a pyro, what do you think pyrotechnician would be? Firefighter? Well, that would be someone who fights fire, but a pyrotechnician would be someone who, it's a scientist that studies fire. Okay, so careers in combustion science could be pyrotechnician, fire protection engineer, mining engineer, blaster, demolition expert, Explosive, explosive. Oh, I like that one. You want to be a, an explosive technician? Yeah. So what do you think you do with that? Explode stuff. <laughs> yes, and you would you would make sure it stays under control. Uh, and then there's firefighter and a volcanologist. What do you think that is? They study vultures. No, they study something. Vulcan. You, Destructive. What does? What sounds like volcano? Volcano. Yes. Oh, we have a kit for that one too. A volcanologist studies volcanoes and a chemical engineer. So, if you want to be a firefighter, it talks about things that you would learn being a firefighter, what what they do and what they need. So then we get on to the kit. This is our cat. All right. So. The chemicals that they supply are citric acid, one of one of Willow's favorite chemicals. Citric acid when they make the edible slime, oh. and yeah, you love that one. Iron powder. Iron dressing powder. So what what do we use iron powder for? Slime. Uh huh. <laughs> which we're gonna make a video with. Yes. Iron and slime. Sodium oh. chloride, which is salt, and sodium bicarbonate. So. It tells you how to get rid of them, and it says the chemistry of explosions. So there's a lot of really interesting information, and Willow and I will sit down and read all about it, but we really wanna show you some of these experiments. 
Oh, volcanoes. That doesn't quite fit like that. Okay. Oh, you know what that one is? Do you guys know what this one is? What's Ooh, this? I've heard of them before. They're like water exploders. Um, uh-huh. This is geysers? a... Um, geyser. Geyser. This is a very famous one. Do you know which one that would be? What is the very famous geyser? The Every... Grand Canyon? No, not the Grand Canyon. That's a big... A big... Ditch. Yeah. Well, it's more than a ditch. It's a canyon, but yeah. This is one that we have talked about going to see someday when we go to a very special national park. Wait, when did we talk about this? I already forget when we you, talked about this. Okay, remember us talking about going to old, old, um, yellow, not old, Yellowstone National Park? No? Okay. Well, this one is called Old Faithful, and it's a very, very well-known geyser. I have no idea if I would have guessed that. No? Okay, so this is talk about all other kinds of... Done chemical reactions and catalysts and oxidizing and all Ooh. kinds of very cool science words to learn and study so this is all of these all of this part would be to help the kids figure out if they want one of these types oh. of as a combustion scientist or something like that okay so we have the things that we got in the kit, but we are going to need some other things from the house to go with our science experiment. So we, I don't know how many we'll be able to do at a shot just because I need to find the other supplies, but you would need milk, dish soap, toothpicks, we will, colored markers, plastic dish, teaspoon, ice cube, porcelain bowl, large bowl, tall glass, egg white, small cloth, fishing line, or thread. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> Color-coded candies, lemon, vinegar, cooking oil, small and, and empty plastic bottle, napkin or paper towels, sand, 96%, ethanol, sugar, matches or a lighter, carbonated drink, but they want it to be a diet, sheet of paper, plastic card, corn flour or wheat flour, Sharpened pencils, straw strainer, hair dryer, dryer, table tennis ball, corkscrew, clear tape, skewers, small paper bag, aluminum foil, cork stopper, warm tap water, table salt, bicycle pump, pump adapter to fill balls, thick card, utility knife, and scissors. So it sounds like you need a lot of things, but most of, pretty much all of this are things that you would already have in your house. Okay, so. That's a lot of things. It's really not, though. Like, look at that list, though. But it's not, because it's all things. It's not like most of these things you would not have to go out and buy special. Maybe diet soda, but. Okay, so. It says, remember to thoroughly wash your hands after each experiment. Why would you want to wash your hands after each experiment? Because it'll get germs. Well, it would get and germs. And so it's then effective by mixing the stuff. That's true, too, but it's more to help keep the chemicals out of your eyes and things like that. Uh, that's what safety goggles are for. But after you take them off and you rub your face, that's why you... you... never take them off when you put on the uh, goggles. Okay. There we go. Always wear your safety goggles, even when you're not doing even science. Even when you're biking, you know, yeah. like you could scrape your eyes. Even when you're not doing science experiments. Willow's, Willow's way is just to wear them constantly from now on. Okay, so for you want to do, we can do dancing colors. And it's a rectangle plastic container, milk, food coloring, the pasture pipette, which came with it, large measuring cup, which came with it. Isn't that that scene where you put the dish soap on your finger and you go like... Toothpa and so toothpicks and dish soap. So to, in order to do this experiment, it's pour a little milk into the, into the plastic container, about half the size of the measuring cup. Let it rest for a few minutes. With the pasture pipe it, pipe it, add a few drops of color, food color to the milk. Make sure the drops remain at the surface and apart from each other. So then you're going to dip the toothpick into the dish soap, collect enough of the, enough to collect one, only one drop. That's all you need is one drop. Okay. Place the toothpick with the drop of dish soap in the middle. And then after you see what happens, there's an explanation on why it happens. So we can read that one afterwards. So let us go get our stuff and we will be right back. Okay, so we have our supplies. We've got our milk. More milk. 
and then I'm going to put this in here and instead of using the pipe it for that I'm just going to have Willow do directly from this so what do you say we do red green and yellow so just yeah. put hold on don't go yet okay so you put a few drops of co food coloring to the milk uh, I got on my lip. Oh. <laughs> well, now she's got a nice pretty green mustache. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, put a few colors in. A few drops up. And make sure you can, yeah. Do like two of each color. Mm -hmm. And I say, think you should be a little bit more. I'm like almost out of red. Okay, so it's really... Whoa, look at that. Yeah, we're almost out of red, so... Okay. That so... Not for free red. We may actually need blue. So you want to make sure when you put them in that the colors are not touching each other. That was a little hard. And... Okay. So Ooh. then the... Looks so pretty. All right, so now we have our, our food coloring in there. I put the soap in here, so you just need enough for one drop of soap. So there? No, literally one. You want one drop. That's all. When it does that, that's all you want. Okay. 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 So go ahead and do your one drop. See it moving? It's pushing all the colors to the side. So the reason that this happens and that it makes it separate like that is because milk is a liquid made up of water, fat, and proteins. So when you put the food coloring on the surface, it doesn't mix with the milk. If you put the toothpick, oh, we're supposed to use toothpick, not the pipe. Yeah. In. Oops. I think it's fine. I think we're supposed to put it on top of the neck into the... I don't think Can it made a difference. Something? So now that we've done that part of the experiment, now Willow's just making a design with her soap and the food coloring with the milk. Ton of rain. Green egg overpowered. So the reason it does this is because when you the when you use milk, it is made up of water, fat, and proteins. So. I want to suck it up in the pipette. No. It doesn't mix together. Then when you put the soap in, that pushes the the food coloring parts apart. I think that's so cool. Though. And it creates a little explosion. So that is why it takes off like that. You've created an explosion in your milk. Isn't that neat? And it says that it the soap bonds with the milk molecules and also breaks the surface tension mixing the molecules and creating the color explosion that you see. So I really like, woo! Yes. I really like that not only do they teach the kids the experiment, it also tells them why. So now every time Willow sees that same experiment performed in science class or somewhere on social media, she knows why it happens. Oh, here's green. And then, so the other things that are in here is there is a chromatography one and two. There's a comet of candies. We don't have the candies that we need for that. That would be like either M&Ms or Skittles. Oh. You can make fizzy bombs. Lemon foam magic potion. Ooh. I'll do that. And then you can inflate a balloon without blowing. I want to do that one. That one I've always wanted to do. Yeah. You can do explosive bags, foam with egg whites. Balloon. Oh, I love that. It comes with the balloon you need too. Yeah. Come yeah. 
And I figured it came with a lot of things, but I didn't remember it said balloon. Come with a ton. A ton of balloons, Mama. Wow, you can do it over and over again. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of pipe bags. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm so, if you wanted to do the balloon, we don't have time to do it today. I don't know how much longer the rain's going to hold off, but you would need a balloon, which comes in your kit, sodium okay. bicarbonate, which comes in your kit, plastic spatula, and a funnel, both of which are in your kit. You would need vinegar and a small, empty plastic bottle. So, I think we will definitely do a video on that experiment another day. We should do, like, all of them, like, just, like, all of them in different in different videos. <laughs> oh, it's like the balloon. Okay. No? So again, this is the boom kit. The boom kit, ta-da, kaboom! That is made by Hands to Mind as part of their STEM at Play. You can find this online. I will put a link down below to where you can buy this kit. I definitely think it's something that all kids should try. The number of science experiments is just incredible. Um, there's 25 different science experiments. So I think it would be a lot of fun and I think all the kids should try it. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So you wanna do, you wanna say goodbye? What are they going to do? If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Comment down below if you like science or STEM. And don't forget, look at Willow's way cool green mustache here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.